If you are interested in theming or just want to learn more about the innards of a web page, I highly recommend the Firefox plugin called Firebug. If you do a quick Google search for Firebug, the top hit will be for getfirebug.com. And on this website, it tells you lots of stuff, including how to install Firebug and just a lot of the features. So I have already installed Firebug on my copy of my browser. So when you do that, what happens is you get this little Firebug icon. So I want to show you on, on my website how I use Firebug. And when you click it, this nice little panel comes up from above. And basically what it does is it shows you all of the divisions, all of the little containers or boxes inside your website. So one thing you can do is click on this and then hover over your page and it will tell you which division you are in. So let me go and click on this one. And you, we can see here that I'm in the, the div, the division called well, division with an ID called site name. And inside there's a link to go to the home, the front page if you're not already there. And if I double click the div, over here in this panel, it tells you the CSS. It's calling the style sheet called style.css. And this is all of the style information I've put in for any content found inside the div with an ID site name. Now a very cool thing about Firebug is it lets you test without actually changing your CSS file, but you can kind of try stuff without actually making any changes to your to your web page. And this is a good way to just to see what works. So I'm going to add a red three pixel wide dashed border and we can see up here we have my border. So this is a great simple way just to, to test to see what your CSS is doing. If you don't know where the CSS is coming from, you can use this little tool and hover over the area of the web page in question and find out what is happening. And then you can go to your style sheet and check it out. So again, a quick introduction. If you want more information, go to the getfirebug.com website.